Our first guest of the new year is an Oscar-winning actress and dispenser of fine oils, elixirs, and anatomically influenced candle scents. Her wildly popular brand and company is called Goop. Please welcome Gwyneth Paltrow. Hello, Gwyneth. How are you? I'm good. You made me laugh already. Oh, good. Well, maybe we should quit here then. <laughs> cool. How are you doing? I'm great. Happy New Year. How are you? I'm okay. I'm all right. I'd rather be at work than here, back here in the house, but we're trying to be safe. I know we were supposed to be in studio together tonight. I, uh, I, I was looking forward to, to getting out. <laughs> I don't know if I you were. I was too. I was. How did you, how did you celebrate uh, New Year's Eve? Did you? Oh my God, we are so pathetic. I think I was asleep by nine ten. Really? Did you watch yeah. the East Coast feed of the ball dropping and then hit the no. hay? No. Oh, I not made even. Dinner. Nope. I made dinner and had a couple drinks, and then that was the end of it. What did you make for dinner? I made pie, two kinds of paella. My husband loves, I do the seafood paella, which is really good. My daughter's vegetarian, so I did a veggie one and a seafood one. It was sort of a Spanish-themed night and some bits on the side, and it was good. It was delish. I like that. Well, you can't beat bits on the side, you know? Do you have one of those paella pans with a bit burner underneath? I do. I do. You know what? I, have- I think... Now I'm realizing, I think I bought a paella pan after watching you travel around through Spain. <laughs> and, and, but I, mine is the size of like, uh, I would say it's the size of like a sewer cover, but it's much bigger than a sewer cover. It's like paella for 5,000 people. <laughs> you got the caterer's paella pan? I did. I also bought a steamer because you had a steamer in your, you have a steamer in your kitchen? Yes. Yes, I got one of those too. Don't you it's love built, that though? It's built into the counter, only it's upside down. So every oh. time I use it, and I do love it, I have to figure things out in reverse to get the thing oh. to drain. It requires a lot of brain power, which I don't have. I don't believe it. <laughs> you, uh, so it's just you and the family, you and your husband and the kids there? That's right, yep. Mm-hmm. And how's that going? Are, who's taking it the worst? this being cooped up? I think Moses, my 14 year old son is having the hardest time with it. He, I mean, what's great is that he's a skateboarder. So he can do a lot of just like solo outside um, exercise and work on skills and tricks and stuff like that. But I think it's very hard to be 14 and, you know, as all the parents who are watching your show know, it's like, it's, it's tough on the ones, you know, that are still in kind of like the most intense developmental stages. I sort of observe like my daughter's 16. She kind of like knows who she is. She's got her friends. And my, my son was, would have started high school in September. And I think it's, it's hard socially. And And, um, but you know, I, I'm, I've also been so amazed by how adaptable kids are during this time and how agile they've been. So hats off to all these kids around the world who are just getting through it. Yeah. No kidding. I I mean, it's funny because I think about like when I was 14 years old and, um, I do think, I mean, really that like, I wasn't going anywhere anyway. I wasn't really, um, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> really, I'd go across the street to my friend Cleto's house, who's now the band leader on my show, and we would make crank calls. And I think we would have been able to do that in a situation like this. Uh, yeah. You just, uh, you know what? You know what we need to do is bring back the art of the crank call, Jimmy. Well, you know, caller ID has made it a lot more difficult. True. <laughs> did, you, did you do that when you were a kid? Would you make crank calls? Beyond, I, it's how I honed my whole acting thing. I would call with all these different accents and try, you know, and and try to not break and laugh. And like, I, I think it was my early acting school, my crank calls. Did you ever tape any of those calls? Oh yeah. Oh, you so did. many. Oh yeah. Did you have that thing, that little suction cup that you would stick to the back <laughs> of the telephone and plug into your cassette recorder? I don't think so. I think I had one. I think. I think I somehow maybe did it on my answering machine. It was all one unit, you know, phone. Uh, and I feel it's, this is a long time ago. So I'm having a hard time remembering exactly. Were you up to any shenanigans besides uh, little prank calls and that sort of thing when you were a teenager? Yeah. 
I yeah. was <laughs> so bad. I was, oh my, I got real into the alcohol. I love that whole phase of teenagerhood. I remember I once, I once had a party, my parents went out of town and I had a party and I cleaned, I got so drunk at this party and I was like, I'm not, I'm going to get caught. And, and I, then I woke up and I cleaned the house top to bottom and I got busted because one of my friends had gone into my dad's shower and drank a bunch of beers and left them in the shower. Who was that friend? Do you remember? He was a he was a, a boy, a guy who went to a school called Collegiate in New York. I'm not going to name names, but um, <laughs> he, I was grounded for a month because of him. He was a drunk, but very clean. Yes, very. <laughs> and I used to sneak out and smoke cigarettes and all that. At least they don't do that now. Do you watch the Do you watch The Bachelor? No. You do not. Yeah. Because you have, uh, not to compare them, but you have your own unscripted television show on Netflix. (laughs) And uh, you just got picked up for a new season. And I know, like, the idea is that people have experiences that they've never had before. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's you having the experiences you've not had before. True. So I've written some things down. I want to see if you've ever done the following things, okay? Oh, dear. Okay. Have you ever flipped someone off in traffic? Yes. Does that happen regularly? All the time. And do they recognize you when it happens? I don't know. (laughs) Have you ever stomped on a ketchup packet? I don't believe so. You should try it. It's fun. Have you ever been in a a Kinko's? Yes. Okay. Have you written a Yelp review? Never. Mm. Have you ever eaten a Hot Pocket? A what? A Hot Pocket. Oh, the, the, the like pizza things and the yeah. pastry? Yeah. Yes, a very long time ago. And finally, have you ever vomited in public? What constitutes public? Mm, other people around, maybe on the street? Like in a like in an airplane bathroom? No, that well, it depends on if the door is closed or not. Mm, on the street? Oh, yeah. You know what? Yes. One time I was driving and I had to pull I had to pull the car door open and barf on the street. <laughs> then did you finish it with a middle finger? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Always. That's why I do all my drinking in the shower. Um, we we will be right back with Gwyneth Paltrow uh, after this. Stick around. This is um, a new product available on Goop that uh, my wife is very excited about. It's the Goop Jeans All in One Super Nutrient face oil. This is for people who really want to oil their face, right? (laughs) That's right. (laughs) You know, it's funny. I spent a lot of time as a teenager trying to get the oil off of my face. And this is, can you (laughs) fry eggs in this? Like, would this be healthy to eat? No. And it's, it's, you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to do anything other than put it on your skin because it has so many amazing ingredients in it. It's so rich and beautiful and you would want to save it for skin and skin alone. Is this one of those things you just put a tiny little bit on because you don't want to use it up? No, I mean, I, I, I look since since we this was you know going through the R and D process. I have been I begged the team for like little drops of it. I'm so into it, and so you use like a, a real dropper and and rub it in your hands and rub it all in. Hold on, let me try it myself. <laughs> no, oh my god, it's incredible! I really love it. <laughs> ah, that's like one of those Indian Ayurvedic treatments where they drip oil on your third eye. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I'm not, I only have the two right now. Um, <laughs> and this is detox month at Goop. Uh, January's yeah. detox month. It's a good month for detox month. And it you is. sent over a little packet of something. Mm-hmm. This is a, I can't read without my glasses, but it says G-tox, which is a, s- supplement. Yes. I'm going to try it right now. It's a detoxifying super powder. So it really helps the liver with its detoxification process. That's good. It it tastes healthy. I'm not going to lie. It tastes Uh herbaceous. Okay. That's why I just put it in a tiny bit of water because I don't want to, I don't want the taste to linger for too long, but it's a very powerful detox. Really, really good for you. Could you mix this with tequila? 
Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna stir it with a giant <laughs> What's spoon. What's with your cocktail <laughs> spoon? Yeah, it's the only spoon we had in the room. <laughs> that looks hilarious. All right. That doesn't taste bad. It's salute. Not great, but salute. To detoxification. To dry January. <laughs> I didn't mix it enough. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I didn't mix it enough. And the powder was floating on the top. <laughs> and oh. then it got now it's stuck to the oil on my face. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. You know what though? I do feel better. D does this mean I won't have to get the COVID vaccine? No, uh, you still have to get the COVID I vaccine. I still am gonna have to get the COVID vaccine. <laughs> well, uh, it's very good checking in with you. I'm sorry we couldn't be together in person. Uh, perhaps next time. Thank you for being with us. The uh, goop.com, you know I order a lot of stuff. Do you ever go through and check to see what I'm buying from there? Never, I would never. Okay. I would never breach anyone's privacy ever. Okay, good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow, everybody. We'll be Thanks right back with- Thanks for having me. Thanks for almost being here. We'll be back with Matt, The Bachelor. Jimmy Kimmel, live. <laughs> this is ridiculous.